strength reverse, we got your card in reverse. And so far for these mid-month readings, everybody's been getting their sign. It's creeping me out. So you're not feeling like yourself. And I think you're having an excess of something, whether it's lust, an addiction, something. And we have the devil here, you guys. So you may still um, have some low self-esteem, um, a lack of courage or depression from that devil relationship, or it could even be a job. That was very, very controlling. I mean, it dominated you, really. Dominated your thoughts, that type of thing. It reminds me of an abusive relationship just because people end up with no confidence after something like that. What messages are there for Leo? Okay. Hermit reversed. Okay. Um, Sagittarius just got this card. I see that, you know, you need to change your perspective because that devil relationship, it's over. Okay. Um, you need to come back out into the world. Don't try to reconcile with somebody um, just because you're afraid of being alone, like being single, being left out in the cold. You should really search for true love. And the reason I say that is because I happen to see the Eight of Cups. Okay. So I see searching for true love. Um, searching for the truth, knowledge, whatever it might be. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. Um, and with the Strength card, you may just feel like you don't have the energy to go out and search for something. What messages are there for Sag I mean, not Sagittarians, for Leos <laughs> from now until the end of May? The Fool, yeah, you need to start a new path. Three major arcana, besides from the Eight of Cups. So this is you on that search with the Eight of Cups on the new path. It's like starting over again, having a new start. And this is you being carefree, having an adventure. Okay, now we talked about not letting your adventures cross over into danger. <clears throat> this can be an addiction card, too. They all are addiction cards, actually. Crap. Leo. There's a need for moderation here. Okay, it's an excess of something. One more card. Tower reversed. Okay, so there's a need to clear away the old shit we talked about and start again. Maybe you went and like searched within yourself. You were single for a while. You got some revelation. And I think you weren't very strong during whatever happened. But also, I think, you know, I think it are, this tower had already happened. Okay. And with the hermit, you're learning from that mistake, whatever it might have been. Learning through experience, pretty much learning the hard way. And the devil usually talks about there's dire consequences due to addiction or due to something unhealthy, some kind of excess. It looks like those dire consequences are, are in the past or you were able to somehow moderate the effect so it's not as bad. I don't see you hanging on anymore. I don't see you resisting. I mean, just a reminder, you know, you win some, you lose some. But uh, it's still good. I just saw this moon. It's uh, another addiction card, you guys. Um, moon reversed at that. So not seeing clearly. This also says do not take any risks. We have so much stuff here about not taking risks. I'm not take, talk, talking about don't start over. We're talking about like real risks here, guys. Like, please don't go cliff diving or cliff climbing or whatever. Because what if you fall? Don't go to the mountains because Hermit's on the mountains and he's in reverse. He's on a cliff in the mountains. The tower's in a mountain. These are supposed to be stability things, but 
it might be quite literal. I think this is saying don't fight for whatever vision you had. Because remember, we need some kind of change of perspective here. Let, like, let something go. So don't keep fighting it. Like, uh, this is the wrong crowd. And this is you needing to get away from that crowd. And I see some more isolation with the hermit. I think you're coming out of isolation. And you're no longer out of touch. So you may be coming out of um, some kind of addiction. Might possibly even be like a, an addiction that caused you to be paranoid. Um, or just, you know, an unhealthy relationship. Somebody who deceived you. Somebody who kind of made you paranoid all the time. You had to walk on eggshells, possibly. And then here's you getting a new start. And like, I'm not walking on eggshells anymore. I'm carefree. And then we have that devil. But devil is in reverse. And so is the tower. So I think with this new start, disaster is no longer ahead. But I will tell you, this also talks about wrong crowd. And so does this. But devil was reversed and moon's reversed. So I think you're getting away from the wrong crowd. I think they're also addictions. So getting away from an addiction, getting getting away from a bad boy. That's just the phrase. It could be anybody who's not good for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's do some a little bit of clarification. It's supposed to be a quick read. Why is strength reversed here for Leo's? Okay, hang on. I have a feeling I know what it is. No, okay, that was wrong. Um, so we have truth, which is justice. I was not expecting that to come out. So this is wanting rights to be wronged. Uh, again, keeping balance and being very introspective. Um, with the devil in reverse, no longer corrupt. No longer in excess. <gasps> So the truth's going to come out, and it looks like this is the secret coming out, if there is a deception. Because the devil, the moon, justice, all talk about, well, even the hermit, like, information is coming out. And, oh yeah, sometimes strength in reverse. Somebody can't close the mouth, so the mouth's open, secret comes out. Okay. So if it's not about addiction, which it could be, a secret comes out. And then you possibly feel free. Yeah, like I don't have the secret burdening me anymore. I don't have this addiction burdening me anymore. So, you know, it's not too bad. Pretty good. <sighs> Sorry, guys, it's past my bedtime. <sighs> I also see like mental balance, having peace. Oh, this is also seeking true love, you guys. Um. I see there's a need for a change for the better. Like examine yourself like you did. I think you already have. Or this could be not examining yourself. Like deceiving yourself. And there's a need not to do that. But whatever mystery it is, it's revealed. I also think um, your conscience is going to help you. You'll be accepting responsibility. Your judgment will be sound. And the right decision either has been made or it will be made. It's just it's time for a decision. Be very fair. Be very honest. Um, and just do some investigation. He's a researcher. So possibly you weren't investigating and you needed to. All right. Why is the hermit reversed here? Four of wands. So possibly somebody's married. I'm seeing that you do need more stability. And maybe you coming back to a marriage after having left due to some kind of an addiction or just coming back to a union, not necessarily um, marriage. But Four of Wands also is freedom from oppression. So I can see that as well. So we do have some freedom cards in here. And when, of course, when you're free from oppression, you're carefree. But don't let your sense of adventure get a hold of or get the best of you. Because a lot of times people get out of addictions and they get into some other kind of adrenaline hobby um, that could be dangerous. I'm trying to think, um, cars like racing cars, motorcycles, 
I don't know, skydiving. I mean, just different things that are supposed to take the place of that, but they end up being dangerous. Some of you may have plans, like business plans, to publish a book, but it's uh, like evil. <laughs> um, or dangerous writings and it gets destroyed. Hmm. I do see business, writing, probably not the evil thing, but I did see that. Why is the fool here? Eight of Swords, so you're getting free from being dominated, being victim, being bound. And it's mainly mentally, okay? But it's good to see being stuck, feeling like you can't move on. Okay, why is the tower reversed here? Okay, it's supposed to be six of wands. That's way too much to even think about. So there is somebody who's a little sneaky, like a little two-faced. They, they, they're deceiving you, but tower's reversed, and it's also a victory card. So, okay, two options. You overcame it. Second option, more negative. Um, the tower reverse sometimes talks us about, um, well, one, hiding the truth, okay? But somebody's not caught. Somebody gets away with something. And the lightning that should have struck down someone, it should have struck down the person who's doing the wrong thing. But instead, it is aimed at the innocent. And this is a card where somebody should have won, but somebody betrayed them and they end up losing. So there's two scenarios, not as bad, and you win. <laughs> You're triumphant over something. <sighs> Why is justice here? Seven of Wands, standing your ground, especially when it comes to your beliefs. So justice will help you feel more confident again, will help you get a f like some ground, like get your feet on solid ground. You'll be more courageous, okay? You'll be king of the hill once more. Okay, why is the moon reversed here? Why is the moon reversed for Sagittarians? Wait, sorry, Leos. I don't know why I keep saying Sagittarians. I just did their reading, they're done. Okay, why is the moon reversed here for Leo? Temperance, well there's a Sagittarius card right there. Maybe you guys have some kind of connection. So be patient, the, the truth will come out. Okay. You may have made some kind of decision hastily before, but wait it out now. Make sure not to be too controlling. Okay, That might alienate people. And you might be left to run your business all by yourself. And there's just a need for balance. I can see you needing to integrate your shadow self with your other, your, uh, your good self, I guess you could say. And that's where we have to take things that are not really great that we don't like about ourselves and kind of integrate it, learn from it, and then move on. But it makes room for new stuff to come in and that gives us that change of attitude that um, we're looking like we need. All right, one last card um, from this deck, okay. I really don't know which way it fell, you guys. Five of Pentacles reversed, or Five of Pentacles upright. Feeling left out in the cold, no longer feeling left out in the cold. Um, so either one. And then for anybody who it might be about love, possibly, what's a message for Sagittarians? 
um, from now until the end of May. I miss, not Sagittarians. Oh, why do I keep saying that? Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I know who you are. What messages are there for Leos from now until the end of May? What messages are there for Leos? Okay, coming out of a separation. I definitely see that. Okay. No longer being separated. Okay. What messages are there for Leos from now until the end of May? Yeah, I could see some of you having gone through something bad. You're going to go back to someone that you're possibly married to um, after you've kind of gone through rehab, pretty much. Okay, religious factors. So it may be that there's no religious factors, and perhaps that's something you should look into. Because we do have a couple of spiritual cards here. I mean, I'm sure there's more, but... What other messages are there for Leos regarding love from now until the end of May? Okay, this could be the one. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, because these cards don't really make a whole lot of sense. But if you, for some reason, were with another party, which I'm not seeing, then that person is not the one for you. But if you were to go back to somebody, it may possibly be the one. But you guys, these these are love cards. So, and they don't really make any sense with the rest of this reading. Which to me says there's not a lot of romance in here, if any. It's mostly about addictions um, and deception. It could be about work. It might possibly be about a relationship, but... I'm really not seeing it, you guys. Plus, anybody who's going to deceive you is not the one. So, 